You might dinner. suck at fishing, but you're good at cooking breakfast, mate. Squid for dinner. <laughs> and squid for dinner. Can't catch kingfish, just catch some squid. <laughs> Shouldn't say that too loud, because I might not catch some squid. <laughs> Point his head in a safe distance. I mean, a safe. Oh. Hey, dude! I told you to point his head in the front. <laughs> Is that ink? <laughs> yep. Dude! Look at, the boat. Look at it. Look at the size of my squid, NATO. Yeah, I don't. Ah, oh, jeez, it's huge, bro. The Lateral Line is proudly brought to you by Violet Organic Foods. The boys go fishing twice a month, and no matter what happens, twice a month I make it into a show and load it to YouTube. The last couple of times we've been fishing, we've been land-based fishing. So that means we haven't been fishing out of the boat for six weeks. Now, six weeks isn't a very long time, but for some reason, it feels like I haven't been fishing on the boat for ages. Not only does it feel like I haven't been fishing on the boat for ages, it feels like I haven't been fishing in good weather for ages because we've had nothing but carnage and tragic forecasts each and every time we've been fishing for the last, like, four times I think well not this time this time we're in the boat and this time we got a good forecast the plan is to be here ready to go tomorrow morning first light get some live baits and then we're gonna charge north north being where we've been land based fishing the last couple of times and the last couple of times we've been lucky enough to see big green and yellow kingfish from the rocks Milan has uh, <laughs> had his run of bad luck couldn't hook fish and when he did hook fish he got spanked and he's had a bit of a talking to and I seen him rig his rods and reels today and it's all the big gear so this time round I'm hoping to see a big fish hooked and landed and we have the rest of today which is only a couple hours Milan's flicking a soft bait around right now trying to pick up dinner so that is us camped up on the boat for the next two nights with a very good forecast. Fish will be hooked, fought, landed and eaten. There will be smiles on our faces. I'm pretty sure the boys will be laughing at each other at some point and it'll be just good old fashioned, clean and good fun. There is even a stick bait rod rigged and ready and a soft bait rod rigged and ready in underneath the dash with my name on it. So. If Milan can catch a fish, I might try to catch one too. Looking forward to this one. We haven't even had a bite. Doesn't mean there's no fish down there. Good to see the gold hat on. Yeah, well, gold is the lucky hat. Oh, oh. Missy Teko. Oh. oh, no, Missy Teko. <laughs> got him, Milan. Oh, I dropped him. No, that yeah, was dinner. Good, yeah, that was a good fish. It was First a great one. fish. I even got the strike. The first strike of the whole trip and I got it. Man, you got a legend cameraman sometimes. Oh, I got another strike. Did you see that? Got that one, mate. <laughs> they sound like real good dinner fish. I was fishing out the back of the boat and I couldn't get a bite. Out the front of the boat is where you need to go. Nice work, man. Good start, <laughs> compared to what we've been having. <laughs> you didn't even catch a fish in three days of fishing last time, no. did you? <laughs> Toby will be jealous now. <laughs> it's a nice fish, too. It's a real pale colour, eh? Let's pray the fishing just continues like that. If that's the start, man. Mm. I couldn't even catch that in three days of fishing last trip. <laughs> <laughs> but it was horrible. It was actually beautiful. It was just hard fishing. Well, Toby didn't think it was that horrible. He was catching them one after the other. Let's put one snapper in the chili bin, but we want two so that our bellies are chock-a-block 
with Snapper before we go to bed tonight. So I'm going to put the phone down and pick a rod up. And whoever hooks up first will be catching a fish and the other one will be forming. And who will it be? And check it out. I got my favourite coloured soft bait. And the big ones. And we can eat it. You reckon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we might as well. We only want one more, right? One each. And the sun's nearly down. Oh, now it feels really small. <laughs> Probably really small anyway. <laughs> well, that's that. One each. Boys are headed for the anchorage. I'm on filleting. Milan's on cooking. Full bellies. Sleep. And tomorrow's going to be carnage. onion yep. to finish it off. Fresh snapper, Milan salad, sauce, and what's that? And peanuts. Tom tamari almonds. Tamario. Tamari. Tamari, bro. It is nice being on the boat, I can tell you that. That's it. Dinner is about to go down, and then so will we. At the moment, there is just mackerel and bait fish everywhere at the back of the boat. So fingers crossed they are there in the morning. We'll wake early, fill the live bait tanks, fill our bellies, and then we're charging north. Big kingfish on the hit list. Milan's got a bone to pick with a couple of big and green yellow machines. Now, I've been told I've got to have bacon and eggs before I leave. Bait tank's full, so it'll be a five o'clock or a four o'clock start. <laughs> See you in the morning time. It's five o'clock and it doesn't get daylight until seven. Can you say keen? You got one, Milan. Only one. Only one. Disappointment in the voice. Zabiki off. Thanks for the light. Little single hook rig on. Smash them, Milan. Gonna try. Must be too bad, this. Nato's on coffee. Milan struggling to get Mackies. But it is starting to happen. Who would have thought Mackies need working out? Is there a technique? Yeah, it has to be. There is this morning anyway. Don't even need me, Lane. First time you make coffee on the boat. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're yeah, pretty well looked after. We were going to have hot, steaming wild pork bacon for breakfast, but we still are going to. Cold fish? <laughs> <laughs> and is this the face of a worried man? <laughs> there it is. Milan's number one live bait for the day. The biggest of the day. Here comes the sun. Milan's barking out orders. Get your tent down, get your tent down, get your tent down! <laughs> Yeah. 
Knowing that we were going to have a near on an hour's run in the boat this morning, I came well prepared. And to be honest, it wasn't even that bad. I reckon the worst of winter is now behind the boys, which is a really good thing because I'm a little bit over looking at tragic forecasts that involved wind, rain, and very low temperatures. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy the lateral line and enjoy trying regardless of the weather, but it is a little bit nicer trying when the weather is good, when the boat isn't covered in condensation, and we're not fighting the wind and the swell and everything else. But yeah, I reckon summer is on its way. Right now we are anchored up in front of that land based spot where we had a big kingfish at our feet that would not eat. Milan has a live bait tank chock a block full of mackerels, but as always, if the mighty Kahawai appears in the Burley Trail, he will be targeted for a live bait. Other than that, we're just going to kick back in a Burley Trail, pump live baits, cast lures, and at some point, bacon's going to be sizzling in the fry pan. Bring it on. This should be good. Anticipation is high. What are you doing? Well, I forgot the neck. <laughs> so I'm going to take my jacket off to, to get, get into in the, the live. live bait tank. But I am excited. First kingy fish for the trip. I love catching kingies. We've got a forecast to boot, which is fantastic. Which is pretty rare in the days of the lateral line these days. But that's what happens when you go fishing in the middle of winter. And then we go to the top coast. Coffee and bacon and eggs time. <laughs> I like the sound of that, Milan. Got to feed you, eh? Yeah. Just got a little bit of light, so that light will be nice. Cause um, yeah, the sun's bit. just starting to come through. Look at it, right here. It's two meters off the bow. As promised, NATO, bacon and eggs. Thank you, Milan. You're you amazing didn't, you sometimes. Didn't think you, you didn't think you were going to get it, did you? Well, it is a little bit rocky rolly. I don't think it gets any better than having a belly full of wild pork bacon that you managed to obtain yourself with your bow and arrow. <laughs> Got a big smile on my face, and it is about to get bigger because we are moving. It is right now high tide. The current is gone, and we've got the entire coast available to us now that we're in the boat. And not only that, but there's a couple of islands just off the point of this coast here that has pumping current rushing past it. So once that outgoing tide starts, there will be current galore. So we're gonna go in search of something spectacular. It's an absolutely stunning day, and again, the anticipation is high. Bring it on! I think I'll get the Mackie over, get the foot pedal out. There you go, Nato, you're talking to me in my in my brain. Telepathic talk. Say me, Lamb, put the little gear away and put the proper gear on. I shouldn't <laughs> even have to tell you. <laughs> How many Donna. times have I told you? Oh, I can never get never get past the size of these things, man. <laughs> It's so big. Well, the fishing and the weather isn't quite as good as the boys were hoping for. We went to the first island that pretty much got in our way. And when we turned up there, it looked real good. There were birds everywhere, but the sounder wasn't showing the bait sign that we want to see. And it was a little bit joggly, I guess is the best word to describe it. It wasn't rough and it wasn't real windy, it's just the surface was just real joggly. 
So after a bunch of casts and towing a live bait around for a little while, the decision was made that there wasn't anything there that was worth staying for. So we've come back in down the coast because down the coast here there is wind with the tide and the forecast this afternoon is for the wind to completely drop out. So the plan is to just sit here and fish the way we fish, sitting in a burly trail, a couple of live baits out and sit here and hope and pray that the forecast is bang on and the wind drops right off this afternoon and if it does then we can get back around the corner onto that top piece of coast and give it another crack. We know the fish are there because of the land based fishing we've done in the last couple of weeks and I reckon if the wind drops off to the point where we can fish that coast effectively then I reckon we can get into some good fish. But who's to say that we don't get into a good fish before then? Right here doing what we're doing right now. So the boys are gonna kick back and await that beautiful weather. What's going on there? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, something, oh, something on that one, Melon. <laughs> it's going freaking nuts. Is that a snapper fish? Yep. Can you eat dinner, it? Dinner fish. Dinner fish. I think we've got a kingy round. Got a kingy round as well, you reckon? Yeah, I reckon so. The live is at. Oh. First kingy for the trip, and that counts. <laughs> does it really? Yep, it counts, man. It's a kingfish. I reckon if another kingfish could eat it, it doesn't count. Hey, no, no, other kingfish could eat that. <laughs> <laughs> the one I want to see you catch would eat that. Milan's done himself a justice and could call himself a kingfish. <laughs> Time to go home, though, though. <laughs> We well, can't eat it, man. That's the lateral line for you. Bigkingfish.com. <laughs> yeah. Let him loose, man. <laughs> Told you there was a kingy out there. There he was. Finally, Nato put a hook in something with more than a size than a panfish. Is it that big, you reckon? Nah, it's just a nice fish. Considering what I've been having. Dinner. Oh no, it is a bigger one. I think it's time to move and go pump a burly trail somewhere else. Nice oh, snapper though. Scoffed the whole Mackie. Yep. I was hoping it was going to be a monster. You're always hoping for monsters. What's oh, your plan now? I don't know, I don't really have a plan. The plan was to come to the top coast and catch monster kingfish all day long, but plans don't always go together. So I think we're gonna move one point down, pump another burly trail, or go to another island.
Leland isn't feeling the fishing love. So he said, what about an early dinner? Hope that the weather does what the weather's supposed to do. And then go fishing. Is that it? That's it. That's your plan? Three weeks of fishing, I can't even catch a kingfish. And I can't even catch a snapper. I'm not even good at <laughs> catching snapper. What do you mean we had snapper for dinner last night? Oh yeah, but you know. Does it look good? Mm -hmm. Still red in the middle? Yeah, it's beautiful. Let me at it. Mm -hmm. Scotch fillet dinner done. Kingfish time. Kingfish time. I don't know what I can do. Maybe we just go out there and cast for three hours and wait till dark and then cry. <laughs> Lost my mojo. I need to get it back. Someone tell me how to get my kingfish mojo back. <laughs> What are you doing, Nato? Trying to help my mate out. He can't catch a fish. He's tired. <laughs> well, you're not going to show us? The best I can do, mate. Well, at least I don't feel that bad anymore, eh? <laughs> if the master softbaiter can't catch a fish. The has been going for 10 minutes, not 10 days. <laughs> we could call this show Cooking on the Boat with Milan. <laughs> it's pretty much a cooking show. <laughs> well, we've had fresh fish. Well, we've tried though, man. We've tried. <laughs> I'd better go hunting lots because it won't take me long to edit it. Well that is it, we are about to call it a day, we've got like an hour's run down to where we're anchoring up for the night and it was an awesome day, despite Milan not being able to catch a kingfish yet again, a ton of fun was had and we had scotch fillet on the charcoal, charcoal grill today and I keep saying this I know but when you've got good food it doesn't really matter about much else, when my belly's full and the food is good Nothing else matters. Given the fact that the fishing at the moment is a little bit tough, tomorrow we are going to try and catch some squid first thing in the morning. I haven't eaten squid for years, and that's because I haven't caught a squid for years. So tomorrow I'm going to try and catch a squid, and then we're going to eat squid. We actually seen a couple of squid in the burley trail this morning when it was still dark when Milan was catching mackerel, so they're around. And if I can catch one of them, I'll be stoked. How are you, brother? Good, good. Smash the squids? Um, not so good tonight, but it's a good spot for it. It's cool to see you out here, man. See you later. <laughs> Later, dude. <laughs> uh, love it. There's a bloody fish busting up all out the back of the boat. They might only be like tiny, tiny, but they're still fish busting up. Oh, 
You stay in bed, eh? Yeah, yeah, I'll stay in bed and have my coffee. I'll just, I'll just make your coffee and cook your breakfast. Yeah, oh, oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Is this like your punishment for not catching any kingfish? I should be punished. Oh, it tastes even better when you're in bed, eh? <laughs> Time to get out of bed, man. The bacon sizzling in the fry pan. My tent is awesome, don't get me wrong, but when the roof of your tent looks like that at midnight, you end up with paper towels wiping the roof down, otherwise it's raining on you. And Milan thinks it's funny. And he's, it's raining he's, in the Lado's tent. <laughs> yeah. It's the only time that Milan's little cubby hole beats my tent, I reckon. It's when the roof <laughs> looks like that. Hole. Thank you, Milan. <laughs> that looks good, boy. It's gonna be good at squid. You might dinner. suck at fishing, but you're good at cooking breakfast, man. Good for dinner. <laughs> and squid for dinner. Can't catch kingfish, just catch some squid. <laughs> Shouldn't say that too loud because I might not catch some squid. Well, after all the struggles that is trying to catch kingfish lately and failing, the boys were not in any hurry at all to get out of bed this morning. I actually had coffee in bed. How bad is that? This morning's mission is a real simple one. We're going to go squid fishing and try and catch some squid. It's been years since I've eaten squid and that's because it's been years since I've caught a squid. Once upon a time, I thought that if you wanted to catch squid, you had to go fishing for them in the dark. And I can remember multiple missions where I was on the water at 3 a.m. so that I had two hours to go fishing in the dark to catch a squid. But after going squid fishing in the same places that I was going squid fishing in the dark, but going squid fishing in the daylight, I worked out pretty quick that you can catch squid in the daylight. All you gotta do is put a squid jig in front of a squid and you are in with a chance. So that is today's plan, to just put a few hours in to trying to catch a squid. I just seen a squid with the drone chasing Milan's squid jig and it wouldn't eat, so they're a little bit, you know, hard to catch. So two lures are better than one. NATO's getting in on the action. <laughs> Have a look at this. <laughs> I got one. Yeehaw. Come on, man, squirt your water out, dude. Not in the face, but at the camera. Oh, look at that! <laughs> totally stoked. <laughs> I got the biggest smile on my face and I just got a squid. Uh, it's been a while, if you can't tell. How does one little squid get a man so excited? <laughs> okay, you clean me up. <laughs> on everything. Maybe I'm just going to become a cameraman. I'll tell you what. You cook it, and we're even. Can he do it again? Need like four of them, eh? For dinner. That'd be a good feed. Yeah. Did you catch something? I caught a squid. <laughs> really? Yep. I should spotlight him. Yeah, oh, definitely spotlight, because usually where there's one, there's more. Don't slackline him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, boy, he's even trying to go, mate. You got him, Milan. Got him. It is a big one, too, eh? It's a beauty. The first bit I've caught for a long, long time, brother. It's a good size. It's bigger than the one I caught. Well, it is me. <laughs> <laughs> Question is can you get your one in the boat without getting a face full of ink? If your uh, rod wasn't there, it'd be nice. Just remember to point his 
head in a safe distance. I mean a safe oh. Hey dude! I told you to point his head in the bright <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Is that ink? <laughs> yep. Dude! Look at, the boat. Look at it. Bloody amateurs, man. <laughs> <sighs> as long as the heads are always pointing in the right direction, a safe direction, then you won't get nailed. Did he get me on my hat? <laughs> oh, look at the floor. Look at the <laughs> floor. Look at my leg, man. Look at the size of my squid, Nato. Yeah, I don't, ah, oh, jeez, it's huge, bro. Look at that. It was worth getting you squirted with ink, bro. <laughs> it's worth Just getting squirted squid. with ink. I've actually, I'm trying to think, that's the biggest squid that I've seen, or I've never caught one that big. Wow. Well, <laughs> you might not be able to catch kingfish. <laughs> But you're now the new squid master, man. I've never seen one that big. I tell you what, I'd love to put him in for a live bag for a big kingfish. Yeah, I'd love to eat him though, eh? Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome, man. I think I'd better clean up the boat. Yeah, you've got a mess to clean up, man. I do. A major mess. I tell you, this going fishing with amateurs thing, what are you doing, man? The whole boat's caked in it. It's in my ear. <laughs> Look at this. Dude. You need to wipe that that's off. That's all man. you, man. It's all you, man. You need to wipe that off. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big squid, eh? <laughs> it's a big mess. <laughs> if we could live bait those squids, I'd be even happier. Hey, you made a deal, man. Yeah. Squid fishing for the morning, man. You can't catch kingfish, man. If you I hook... got, I got one burly bomb left, so we'll go and put a squid. If you over. hook one, you'll just lose it anyway, man. Nah. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> what an attitude. <laughs> yeah, why have I got that attitude? Because I'm wicked. Because I've watched you <laughs> let a lot of kingies go lately. <laughs> just drop NATO on the rocks because there's a mean time lapse going down. Right there. I just did a me land. <laughs> There's ink on the boat. But yeah. I didn't get anyone. You gotta clean that ink up. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have, to have squid for lunch and dinner. Still don't think it's as big as yours, but it'll be one of the biggest ones I've ever caught. Okay, unlike me land. When you bring your squid in, whichever way they're pointing is the way everything's gonna go. So all I do is just try and hold them so they're pointing straight up, <laughs> straight up and down. <laughs> then if they squirt, they shouldn't it's get It's a big right. one, look at the size of it. Yeah! Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, check out all the spots, he's changing color big time. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> I haven't squirted caught a squirt in literally years. Man, missed it, it's good fun. number four for the day and that is enough the boys are chock-a-block with squid we're going to the beach to have something to eat and then it'll be home time god these things are awesome oh bro oh wow dolphins cruising with the boat whoa 
I was just trying to get a shot of the of the Minn Kota forming the um, thing and then there's two dolphins swimming right beside the boat. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I should put the drone up, eh? 100%. Well, today has turned into an absolutely epic day. I've had a ton of fun. We've got squid to take home, a few snappers to take home, and we just spent the last half an hour with dolphins following us around, so we filmed them from each and every angle that I possibly could. And we're gonna finish today in the most epic way possible with a hot cooked meal on the beach. Milan is right now about to fry up some venison patties. We're gonna eat Milan's homegrown salad and drink some coffee and then we'll be out of here. Once again, my brothers and sisters, we really do appreciate you watching. We love what we do and without you watching it, we wouldn't be doing what we love. So chur chur to my brothers and sisters watching the lateral line, it is very much appreciated. And this time around, I wanna say a very special thank you to the team at Nicholson Autos in Morrinsville. Nicholson Autos have been kind enough to look after us with vehicles for the last like five years. They lend us vehicles and that saves us a bill and gives us the ability to go fishing and make content. For the last five years Nicholson's have supplied us with Holden's but now Holden's have gone bye bye as you are probably aware which left a huge hole in the Nicholson's business so they have now taken on Great Wall. And they said to the boys, would you drive around in a couple of great wall trucks for us and give them a bash and we want some marketing material for them and who are we to turn down the use of a couple of trucks? So done, we now have a couple of great wall trucks. So once again, thank you to the team at Nicholson's and if you are in the market for a new or used vehicle, then Nicholson United Autos and Morinsall and Rotorua and Whakatane and a few other places too I think are definitely worth going and checking out. They are a family owned and operated business and I think with the way the world is going, this corporate world is going, we all need to look after our family businesses, our local businesses and support them. So yeah, if you're in the market for a new vehicle, they are awesome to deal with. They are family owned and operated and I think that is awesome. Chur chur, my brothers and sisters at Nicholson's. We'll see you all again very, very soon. Mm. Did you make another um, house build video? I did. You did? So it'll be at the end of the show. We're gonna get lovely how a concrete slab goes down. <laughs> <laughs> we have the slab down. It's been an interesting journey trying to design my own home and a lot harder than I thought. I had images in my head by getting them down on paper and a format that is affordable to build has been a whole new challenge. I wanted to have the exterior and all new materials that are very low in maintenance, so I've gone with brick, aluminium joinery and a colour steel roof with round seed poles for all the entries and verandas. And then when you come inside, making good use of all the recycled materials that I've been collecting around Morrinsville. 
Most of the linings for the house have been sourced from a local mill in Tiaraha. Isaac has milled local logs into 300 by 20 panels to grace the walls in the main living area. The house is long and skinny with steep roof pitches, giving the opportunity to have exposed scissor trusses to the main living area, then changing into attic trusses as you move along the building, giving huge volume in the roof so we could build in an art room, then bringing in roof lights to allow natural light to fill these spaces for the plants that will spread around the main living area. The design should give the house a grand look as you drive in, but we'll also keep it within the budget. Well, I'm hoping anyway. It is very little openings on the south and eastern sides to reduce the road noise that comes from living on country roads. And then you enter the house through a couple of massive solid doors and you will be greeted with lots of glass and skylights that open up the house to the north and west. The end of the house will have a large glass house, which will make for an amazing chill out zone and will double as a great growing room for all the tropical fruit trees that have been struggling to grow in the Waikato. A fire and a built-in wood box have been positioned next to the glass house to heat not just the house but the glass house over the cold winter nights that the Waikato experiences over the winter months. With having the house on a Bowers engineered floor, good friend Andre, who's the builder, and myself won't start on the house till we start building the frames. This is something I would have liked to have built, but understand it's a huge job and you need the gear to do it properly. So, once the floor is good to go, it's on with the building apron and I start my life as a builder. The lateral line is proudly brought to you by Violet Organic Foods.